Hello, my beautiful people. Today, we are back in Better Than Ever with book content. I forget that so many people love reading and books and literature just as much as I do, and I haven't filmed a book video in a long time. I post a lot about what I read, my recommendations across my other socials, but I need to bring it to YouTube because it's something I love so, so much. We're here in person. We're gonna feel the books. We're gonna read the back, and we're gonna walk through all of the shelves. Let's head into Barnes & Nobles. I've never been to this specific Barnes & Noble. It has like the old lettering, so let's go on in. Y'all, I walk in and the first thing I see is new paperbacks for mystery books. I had just screenshotted this book that I wanted to get and it's literally right here. This is the first one that we're buying. I love Frida McFadden. I've read like three of her books and they're amazing. This is definitely the first one. I feel like that's just a sign. It's a sign. This section makes me so sad because Florida is banning so many books and I've read like all of these in my classes over the years. This book's amazing. This book is so so good. I think about it all the time. The Kite Runner is a great one. Book Thief, Catcher in the... I've literally read like all of these. Makes me sad. Here we have some romance. Ooh, a new Tessa Bailey book. I've never seen this one but I love Tessa Bailey. This looks good. This one's really talked about on book talk, but I didn't really like it. I read this. Not my fave. I'm looking at my Goodreads right now, and I just remembered, I remembered that Meet Me at the Lake was on there. I just found it right here, so this might be another pickup. I know this is a romance, and I'm kind of feeling more thrillery. I love a good romance. This is the book I'm currently reading. I'm almost done with it. This is another Hannah Grace book, and I love her. We're gonna head into the romance section. <gasps> Here's Happy Place. You guys, I have been wanting to read this book for so long, because I have all of Emily Henry's other books, but I want the paperback so bad. <laughs> like, I don't want the hardcover, because it won't go on my bookshelf. I don't know. I've been putting it off for so long. Emily Henry's coming out with a new book, this year as well so i'm really excited about that here's more tessa bailey if you guys haven't read it happens one summer and then hook line and sinker this is like the sequel those are both really good this is one of my favorite book series of all time the off campus series it's like a hockey romance series there's five books and i just love l kennedy i got this one for christmas and i'm yet to read it i already have three books which is a good and a bad thing but i get a lot of people asking what my favorite book of all time is and if i had to say it would be archer's voice i have recommended this book to so many people so many people and they all love it pick this up next time you see it you will not regret it or have it linked to my amazon storefront if you just want to order it the best book ever here we have a bunch of lucy score which i also love this book series things we never got over and then things we had from the light and things we left behind is amazing i just finished reading this forever and never and i really like this this is a good like 700 page read if you want to pick that up i really enjoy lucy scores writing see there's some other books here from her that i need to read finally mine I read this during Christmas time. This is like a good winter read if you wanted to pick it up for next year. I mean, you can read books whenever, but I think I want to go look at thrillers and mysteries. I love book shopping. This is so fun. There's nothing like sitting here and reading all the backs to the books and just getting inspired and getting lost in the story. If you haven't picked up a book recently, please do. You will not regret it. Hi. What are you doing? I have a question. Do you have uh, this book? Yeah, I do. Okay, then I'm not going to buy it. Don't buy it. I just wanted to see if you had it because I was going to buy it, but if you have it, I'll just borrow. Yeah. So I called one of my really good friends, Destiny, and we love to share books back and forth, and she has Meet Me at the Lake, so I'm not going to buy it. She'll just let me borrow, but I found this book, Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I don't think I've read anything by this author. I put it in Goodreads. Guys, I Goodreads everything. If you want to follow my Goodreads, it's where I post my book reviews, how far the progress I've made on a book. I think I'm going to get this one because it looks really good, has really good reviews, and it's a start of a series, a second book is gonna come out soon so i think this is a good romance to get barnes and noble exclusive she's fancy <laughs> This is hilarious. There's a coquette section of Barnes and Noble and they have bows all over. That's awesome. I love this. We're in the mystery and thriller section. Y'all, this is such a good book. The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I love this. This was one of the first books I ever read that got me into reading, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're a newbie. Then She Was Gone was really good. The Silent Patient was also really good. I feel like this was talked about a lot, so you've probably heard of that one. I read this, I think. I can't remember. What I really, really want to read is The Maid. I've been eyeing this book for so long. Maybe I should get it. Let's do some Goodreads research on The Maid because I've been wanting to read this for a while. It's such a little book. I think there's two of them. Mm. It's rated all right. I don't think I'm gonna buy it this time. I think I'm gonna stick with the three that I have. This is so exciting. Everyone's staring at me. 
Hi. How are you? Good. Not listening to Noah Khan right now. Yay! That was a success. I got the books and a few other goodies. I cannot wait to show you when I get home. But my gift card only had $4 on it. I honestly can't remember when I had that gift card or when I got it. It was probably years ago. I'm just thankful I saved $4 on a book. I'm so excited. I love going to Barnes & Noble and seeing it so packed in there makes me so happy because I feel like bookstores are a dying art and it makes me sad because they shouldn't be. There's so much love and power and mystery that you can find in bookstores. So seeing it so busy is just amazing. Let's head home and I'm going to give you guys a haul and show you all the books that I got. It's been a few hours, but I'm back now and I'm ready to show you all the books that I got. The reason it's been a little while was because I was waiting for one book to come in the mail that I wanted to show you guys. So let's start with that one. I ordered The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose and it just came in today and this is another thriller kind of mystery book. I've heard lots of really good things about this and for some reason I'm just feeling very thrillery. I go in little phases and I've been reading a lot of romance recently. I think the last like 10 books I've read are romance. Don't get me wrong, love romance. I'm gonna show you romance books but something about a good thriller, it just makes you not wanna put it down and it's not ever like scary. It's exciting, it's fun, it's thrilling. <laughs> this is about a couple, they're both high power lawyers or attorneys. My guess is that he cheats on her and something happens and they have to figure it all out together. But this looks really good. His mistress is dead and his wife is his only hope. Actually, while I was at Barnes and Nobles, there was a girl checking out in line with this book in hand. I figured that was a good sign. I can't wait to read this. It should be a quick read. It's only 330 pages and sometimes you need a fast book to just kind of go through. The second book you guys saw was the first one I picked up and this is The Coworker by Frida McFadden. I don't know a lot about this book, but I will say it was recommended by a book girl that I follow on Instagram, which I showed you guys, and I love Frida McFadden. I think it's Fadden. It might be Faden. Frida McFadden. She wrote the Housemaid series, and I love that series. The third book is coming out in the summer, and my friend for my birthday pre-ordered that for me because she's so sweet. So I cannot wait to read that, but this just looks really good. This is what I'm going to pick up next. I just finished Wildfire while I was waiting for that book to come in from Amazon, so I'm going to start this tonight, and I cannot wait. This is about two female co workers that work together and something happens. I think one of them goes missing or dies or something and it's like you think you know your co-worker but you really don't. It says two women in an office filled with secrets one terrible crime that can't be taken back. All I know is I love Frida McFadden and I know this is going to be so good. This is what I'm going to be picking up next. I can't wait. Okay last thriller for y'all. This is All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda and I've read a few of Megan Miranda's thriller mystery books and I really really enjoyed them. So this book is about a girl who returns to her hometown for the first time in years and she gets all these memories flooding back of how her best friend went missing and disappeared and I'm pretty sure she just goes through the steps to figure out how that happened if she really disappeared you know problem solved figure out the mystery Megan Miranda always has pretty good twists in her book and I love a good twist so I'm hoping that this one's good and the last book that I have to show y'all love redesigned by Lauren Asher honestly I've never heard about this book before I've never even really heard about this author I love starting something new maybe it's just new to me and maybe lots of people have heard about this. I looked it up and it has really good reviews. A lot of people like it and like I said, there's a second book coming to this series. I also love the purple cover. It's not often that I find books with a purple cover. And I'm not saying judge a book off its cover, but I typically do because this is beautiful. And this is also a thicky. I love a good thick book. <laughs> this one's 600 pages. I love a big, good read like this. Honestly, I don't even remember what the back was about. <laughs> this is a small town romance, which I think a lot of us know and love about these two childhood best friends that become rivals and enemies and we all know eventually they're gonna fall in love um, but it's supposed to be steamy spicy and I love that in a book so I'm very excited to read this she also has another book series that's very popular I only saw the last two books of that series in Barnes and Noble so I didn't get it I would have loved to get the first one but I'm not gonna read the second and third books of a different series out of order so we're gonna start here see if I like her writing which I can imagine I will if I do I will pick up the other series and y'all that is it that is the four books that I picked up today. I am so excited to start reading all of these and I cannot wait to tell you guys how I feel about them and keep you up with the journey of me reading them. I feel it in my heart that I'm going to love all of these books. Like I said, I will be 
starting with this one because this is an author I know and love. But thank you so much for watching this video. I get so many requests to do more book content and I will 100% do it for you guys if you want to see it. I know some people love reading and some people despise it and that's okay. If it's something that you guys are interested, I would love to do more of it. Let me know what you guys want to see and again, follow my Goodreads because I am constantly updating that. And if you want to get all of these books online and have them delivered to your doorstep, I link all the books that I read in my Amazon storefront. Again, not sponsored, but it's fast, it's cheap, and they come the next day, so you really can't complain. If you do want to shop any of these, I'll have them linked on my books storefront on my Amazon. That's it for this video. Feel free to subscribe and follow all my other socials. I constantly update my Instagram stories about what I'm reading. If you want to see what I'm reading in real time, you can go check it out over there. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Be kind to yourself. Bye, guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah.